sings in your program.
Our fourth reading is from Isaiah chapter 9, verses 2 through 7. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Those who lived in a land of deep darkness, on them light has shined. You have multiplied the nation. You have increased its joy. They rejoice before you as with joy at the harvest, as people exult when dividing plunder. For the yoke of their burden and the bar across their shoulders, the rod of their oppressor, you have broken as on the day of Midian. For all the boots of the tramping warriors and all the garments rolled in blood shall be burned as fuel for the fire. For a child has been born for us, a son given to us. Authority rests upon his shoulders, and he is named Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. His authority shall grow continually, and there shall be endless peace for the throne of David and his kingdom. He will establish and uphold it with justice and with righteousness from this time onward and forevermore. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will do this. And friends, as our time um, tonight starts coming to a close here, I know that many of us, or probably all of us, have some events planned for this evening, some time that we will spend with family, a time of celebration, uh, eating meals together, probably opening some gifts tonight. But Lord, if we, if, we, if we think, friends, about what Jesus has done for us, and even as it is dark in this place, we know that the Lord has come shining a great light upon us, the light of Jesus Christ, the love of the world, all of the things that are described in this passage from Isaiah and everything that we read tonight point towards his love for us, point towards his power over all things, point towards the way that he is going to set all things to right. And as 2020 comes to a close, this has been a difficult year for all of us. And some of us have experienced great loss during this year. And Lord, uh, we all know that there is uncertainties that are to come. We have difficulties that we continue to face. But we know that because there is a child that has been born for us, a son given for us, one that all authority rests. And we know that this child is no longer a child, but a grown man, Jesus Christ, who existed eternally with the Lord, eternally with God the Father in heaven. And he is going to come again. And all of the difficulties that we face are going to be solved, completed, wrapped up, taken care of by Jesus Christ. So as we go and unwrap presents, remember the greatest gift that's been ever given in the history of this world, and that is Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. So as we leave here tonight, and I certainly hope you have your candles, we're going to be singing Silent Night, but we're going to start passing some candles out. Usually we'd be in the sanctuary, we'd light a candle from the Advent candle, and it would go around. Uh, we know that there's a little bit of wind tonight outside. We know that our candle, our individual candle might get snuffed. Just relight it. It's okay because God loves us and his light will never be quenched. So let's go ahead and light some candles. Let's sing Silent Night. And after we sing Silent Night, we're going to sing Joy to the World. And um, let's go ahead and pass those lights out tonight. Thank you for coming. appreciate it very much.
Let us pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for this sacred, this holy night. Thank you for blessing us through your Son, Jesus Christ. Lord, as we hold these candles aloft and as we ponder and reflect upon the light that you have shined into the darkness, Lord, help us to remember that you have called us to be lights in the world. And as you dwell in us, that we can share your light and your love with the world that still dwells in darkness. Lord, we know that your light will never be extinguished. We know that your light is eternal. So we thank you for this opportunity that you give us to be faithful to you. We bless you. We praise you. In your name we pray, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Keep your candles lit. Let's all sing joy to the world. bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift up the light of his countenance upon you and give you peace. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace. Love and serve the Lord. Amen. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Mama,